to make a uh, sliding synth for a dance song. Uh, so this is often used in intros and builds and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how to do it with Vanguard as well as Citrus, so uh, that's something that you might want to stay tuned for because it is something that's kind of difficult this doing with Vanguard, although it's not too difficult once you get the hang of it. Uh, so we're going to start with a Citrus because it's much easier. Uh, so load yourself a Citrus channel, and what you're going to do is pick a synth. Uh, I'm going to use, let me see, square purity. So just a normal square. <laughs> simple enough, right? Um, so, uh, in FL Studio, all the slides for default plugins are done straight through the piano roll. So, you can go to that, and I'm going to do this in C-sharp. So, you can see, I don't want it that long. Let's go for uh, four bars. So, we're going to do a little bit of a short kind of uh, build here. Uh, so, I'm going to start low, and go up pretty high. So... Um, now, which one notice is that I have whole notes? Uh, that's because it's not going to be like stuttered or anything like that. It's just going to be held sliding all the way up from one to the other. Um, so what you do from here is you double click the top if you want the slide to be going up, and you check the slide trigger right here. Um, click the check, and now... gonna drag this out a little more because well, we're gonna add this to a little bit of a uh, introduction here just for some fun thing after so I'll add that here and I'm gonna come back to it because I'm gonna need to change it uh, so next we'll move on to Vanguard so add yourself a Vanguard channel uh, and I'm gonna use the Creosage preset because I just like it it's just kind of a fun <laughs> It's pretty good for slides, so uh, we'll go to the piano roll here. Um, now, what you'll notice is that if I do the same thing, double click, do slide, and nothing. Right? Doesn't matter where I put it. Doesn't do anything. Uh, so I'll just do this quick so that we can move on. Uh, now. What you have to do with Vanguard is you actually have to uh, edit the synth a little bit so that it will actually slide properly. So you go to the edit button right here and you'll go down to this glide area and you'll see that right now it's off. So what we're going to do is first turn it on. Um, now I'm going to change this just to an H so I can demonstrate to you. Uh, this is what it does. It makes it so... makes it slide around, or glide, as you will. Um, now, for what we're going to do, I'm going to need to come back to this, and I'm going to need to show you what uh, a certain setting you need to put it on. Now, the reason is, is you have to use a quarter T for a certain time. And I'll show you in one second when we go down to the piano roll here. So, if you look, in an octave, okay, we have 12 notes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So, in... 12 notes, we have to go through 4 beats in a bar up 12 notes to make an even slide, right? Otherwise, it's not really going to sync up so well and it'll sound kind of weird. So, I'm going to uh, put a note in. And I'm going to make this one beat long, okay? So, if I was just go like this and put them going up, right, there's 4. So the problem is that we would end up uneven or we'd need to do a really long slide for it to actually match up properly. So what you actually have to do is go down or go up and you go to the a third of a beat setting under the uh, grid. So now, because we have a third of a beat, you put them every 2. So now we start on C sharp and we end on C sharp. So that actually makes it even when we make it into a third. And so that's why we set our setting back here to be a quarter T, because that's one triplet quarter, basically. The T standing for triplet, quarter for a quarter note. So that makes it so the slide actually matches up with this number here. Uh, you can use it for other times too. Um, let's say you wanted this to go up one octave in one uh, bar. Then what you do is you'd set it to a sixth beat. 
and I'm pretty sure that you could do it, uh, let me see, you could do it something like four, and then you would go up one bar, or one octave every four. So I'm going to make this a little bit more of a hair-raising climb, so I'm going to do this pretty quick. Now we're just going to copy and paste this so that we can get some more uh, height out of it, because frankly I'm lazy and don't feel like uh, clicking that all out again. Oops. Uh, am I going to have enough room here? Ah, good. Perfect. Okay. Um, now what you'll notice is that uh, we're starting on C-sharp, but the note right before here is the one below it, because to do C-sharp, we have to do it here. Um, so you have to make sure that you end on the right note. If you're not going to do that, then you should probably transpose all of this up one. You probably won't notice, and uh, it'll make it so that it actually ends on the right note. So uh, I'm going to turn off the slide just so that you can hear what it sounds like without it. So here's what it sounds like without it. So, kind of cool, but definitely not what we were looking for. So if I go and turn it back on now, there you go. So we have something which has a little bit more of a smooth slide to it. Uh, so, I'm just going to check to see how far we're going up here. This is from C3 to C7. So I'm going to change our square so that it matches that. Uh, C7 and C2. I think that was right, wasn't it? C3. Oh, not quite. C3, C7. Okay, now I'm just going to check this and see if they actually match up. Okay, now um, I'm going to make this into an actual build because frankly it would be pretty boring without it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to make a little automation clip, so uh, just toggle the cutoff knob a little bit, and go over the last week tweak parameter under the dropdown, and create automation clip. Now we're going to make this into a little bit of a build. Something kind of like that, I'm thinking. Okay. And also, I'm going to make it so our square doesn't override things, so we're going to right-click the volume and go create automation. Can make it so it's a little softer, gets a little louder, and then gets soft again. Okay, so let's hear how that sounds. Okay, now that wasn't quite right, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to do what I said already and transpose this up. So just select it all, and if you want to do a quick transpose, just press Alt and up, and now it's up exactly one note. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to add this a little bit of bass to this just so, I mean, otherwise it'd be kind of boring, you know, just a little bit of a uh, sliding saw and nothing really interesting. So I'm just using Mooger here, and I'm going to use a pretty simple bass, so. Change this back. 